Ah, oh, the bike is filthy. I made the mistake of cutting a few boards in the garage while it was uncovered on the other side of the garage. It's still got a thin layer of sawdust all over it. But who knows if you can even see that because last time I went to the hardware store, I took my GoPro off my helmet and I dropped it. I broke both of the little pieces that attached to my helmet. So the setup that I use, I always keep locked down. And the only thing that I need to take on and off is I need to unclip the microphone from the GoPro. I need to unclip the GoPro from the helmet and then I need to take the GoPro out. The one thing that gives me a consistent camera angle, I had to replace one section of that. So who knows what you guys are seeing. So this could just be complete garbage. And depending on how terrible it is, uh, it's going to determine if I'm either going to, it's going to determine if I'm even going to post it. Something I mentioned at the end of my last video was that I still had more electrical work to do so I'm not out of the woods and working with electricity, you know, even with the smallest amount, you can always kill yourself if you're goofing around. <laughs> what was that, a chipmunk? Something I mentioned at the end of my last video is that I was working with power and you can easily electrocute yourself. That looked fairly new. I was expected to see a deer on the side of the road here. I mean, I'm not really associated with any other moto vloggers, so it's not like they can go on and be like, oh, hey, everybody, you know, uh, this happened and, you know, it's too bad. What's the standard operating procedure for something like this? You know, if I come around a corner and one of these fences is broken and there's a bunch of cows in the middle of the road, and I hit one of those and become ground beef and feel utter despair. I mean, come on, I gotta polish up my dad jokes. So do I make a video and upload it as locked and then if something happens, have somebody click a button and make it live and then you guys will know or what? Or should I just say, hey, if you don't hear anything from me for a couple of months, just assume the worst? That would be a good opportunity for a face reveal, I suppose. Because right now it's so mysterious. My wife is a big supporter of motorcycles and the channel. And she watches all the videos and everything like that. But she says, if I die on the motorcycle doing something stupid, she's going to be so mad at me. So I ride tame for the most part. So I guess I have to ask you guys, what would you rather? Would you just want me to Irish goodbye and uh, not say anything and just leave it up to mystery? Or do you want me to make a video and prime it for release? And then if the worst happens, I'll put it out there. All right. Till next time.